Hello guys, am I audible? Uh, screen is visible. It's visible. Okay. Uh, in the previous class, uh, we were discussing about some uh, escape characters. It means uh, uh, when we use the single quotes to write the strings. Inside that string, if we want to explicitly, if we want to use the uh, single quote once again, then we can use these escape characters. Okay. So these are some list of escape characters. That is a backslash single quote. Okay. It prints uh, as a single quote only in our uh, string. It means that that single quote will be printed as a part of our string. Similarly, backslash double quote. This double quote will be printed as a double uh, uh, printed as a part of our string. So uh, next one is backslash t. Okay, it is a tab backslash n, which is already you are familiar with. That is a new line character or line break character. And uh, explicitly, if you want to uh, print uh, backslash, then uh, you have to use a double back backslash. This much I think uh, we had covered in previous class. Okay, so in the next. Uh, slide uh, see uh, we will see some uh, examples for uh, practicing purpose that is suppose here one string is there hello there slash n how are you slash n and uh, i am doing fine so here uh, this string is enclosed between uh, double quotes okay so single both single quotes as well as double quotes we can use for strings so here we are using double quotes and inside this uh, double quotes so some single quotes are there and to print them to print those single quotes as it is we have to use a, uh, the escape characters here that is uh, here one uh, escape character we are using that is uh, slash okay here uh, slash n is there that is new line character and here one more new line character is there uh, but here this is a uh, going to print a one single quote as a part of this string. So here your output will be like this in your interactive shell. First in first line, hello there will be printed, and in next line, how are you will be printed, and in next line, I am doing fine will be printed. So this is how we can use these escape characters. So next one more small topic is there, very interesting topic once again, that is raw strings. So it means that <clears throat> these are some special type of uh, strings. It means uh, whatever escape characters. If somebody or some programmer has used in his program or in his strings, so if we want to remove them, all of those escape characters, instead of one by one removing them, we can ignore all those escape characters just by making that string as a raw string. Then how to make that a string as a raw string? So in the beginning of the string only, if we use small letter R, okay, in the beginning of the string only if we use a small letter r then it indicates that this is a raw string or so how it is we will see here in this example i am showing you you can see here. print okay this is printing this function print function is printing some string which is enclosed in single quote but before that beginning single quote if we use a small letter r that entire string will be converted as a raw string it means that here whatever the first to say s is there no here uh, that is uh, not f s to f s actually what it is it is a new line character so that uh, uh, we can use that single quote as a part of that string so then it will become as a uh, f s to f s for this carol person okay so that string is that is carol's cat so we, if we want to display it as it is we can use it uh, we can uh, make this string as a raw string uh, then uh, output will be like this see so that is a carols cat. So instead of just displaying a single quote for carols, so it is displaying a backslash also. It means that this raw string is ignoring this backslash and single quote. It means that this raw strings always ignore all the escape characters, so whatever we have included in our string. That is the main use of these. Uh, raw strings that's all nothing is there very very a uh, small topic okay so when sir we should use these raw strings uh, why it is only small uh, thing whatever you have shown us 
So, but uh, these raw strings are very very important when we use uh, regular expressions. When we write regular expressions in the next module, when we study in the third module, when we study regular expressions in uh, regular expressions in a string, there may be some uh, escape characters, and if we want to ignore those all escape characters, then we have to make those strings as a raw strings. Okay. So then, uh, one more small topic that is multi-line strings. Multi-line strings with the triple codes. It means that in uh, our string, if you consider the string which is inside this print function, so if that string is not fitting in only one line, then we can use it in the multi-line, right? So we can use it in two line, three line, or four line also. We can write that same string in the three lines or four lines. So then we can enclose this string in the triple quotes triple quotes means it may be three single quotes or else we can use three double quotes also to indicate the beginning and end of the strings and when we can use these triple quotes only when the string is going to take more than one line two line or three line okay if we want to write a string in a multi line then we can use it in a uh, multi line string uh, quotes that is triple quotes and obviously inside this uh, triple quotes whatever the string you, you have written and if that string contains any single quotes that is nothing but apostrophe s yes, it will be uh, not a confusion for python that this is a apostrophe s yes, single quote only so because the string is beginning with the triple quotes and it is ending with the triple quotes right so this is one example i have shown in this uh, uh, slide print dear allies in one in the first line in the second line use cat has been arrested for cat napping, cat burglary and exhaustion okay this is a next line and one more in the next line that is sincerely bob so totally how many lines are there you can observe here dear allies and below that uh, uh, use cat has been that uh, string and uh, below that uh, sincerely and below that bob so totally here one two uh, three four five five lines string is there and if you consider one space here, then um, seven lines string will be there. Okay. So to make these strings in a multi line, we can use these triple quotes. So I, I already told you. So we can use this uh, three single quotes as well as three double quotes also to re to represent these multi line strings. Okay. See here, the same string or the same printer print function can be written like this also. What is the difference here? So in previous example, just I had used a single quotes, three single quotes to represent the beginning and end of the string. But here I have used three double quotes to indicate the beginning and end of the string. So here this is the use of uh, triple quotes and this is the output of that program. So just now whatever, just one simple print function we had written, if you write that in function uh, in the file editor and if you save that program as a uh, catnapping.py and if you execute that program then output looks like this it is output is nothing but the uh, print function is executed so that is a dear allies in one line in the next line use cat has been okay and in next line sincerely bob so however if you want to use the slash n that is a new line character you can use in print function only okay and uh, whatever the apostrophe s is there, use. So it is treated as a part of a string. Okay. Because the beginning of the string you are mentioning with this triple quotes, it may be single quote or uh, double quotes. The end of the string also you are indicating with a triple quotes that may be single quote or double quote. Okay. So the same <coughs> print function can be written like this also. Here in the bottom of this slide, I have written here the same print function can be executed like this also. What is the difference here? You can see here. This is single quote. This string is the beginning and end with a single quote. And how we can make this uh, string in a separate, separate and multi-line uh, string? We can we can see here. Dear allies, comma. After that, we have used two uh, slash n here. It means that two new line characters. It means cursor will come to next line and its next line because two slash n is there. Then use is a use and it is a this is a escape character it means what since this string is beginning with a single quote python should should not get confusion that this single quote is not a 
end of this string. This is a eus. It is a apostrophe s for this eu. Okay. So here backslash is used. So this both the two together, both the two characters are together are called as escape character. It means that it will be displayed as a use only. Okay. Then the cat has been arrested for catnapping, comma cat burglary and extortion. Then double slash and user. It means once again two uh, new line characters. Then uh, sincerely, comma. Then one more new line character. Then last Bob is there. And here uh, one single quote is there, which is indicating the end of the string. So this is a similar and equivalent print statement of our previous print statement or print function. Okay. So this is how we can achieve multi-line strings with the triple quotes. So then the multi-line comments. So as already you have seen, uh, hash symbol is used for a comment line. At the beginning of the line, if you put a hash symbol, then it indicates that that entire line is a comment line. Okay. So but if that comment line is not fitting in only one line, then what to do? As in our C program also, we use double slash as a single line comment line okay double slash as a single line comment line delimiter it is so if you want to write a four to five lines of a comment line in your c program also you use one slash star at the beginning of the string and you use a star slash at the end of the string so in between these two uh, delimiters whatever you write that string will be comment line right similarly here in python we already know that one single line comment line delimiter that is a hash but what if uh, we want to write the comment line in the multi line then we have to use once again simply triple quotes that is the string should begin with the triple double quotes and that string should end with the triple double quotes so here just now previously whatever you had written that print function similarly print function but instead of writing print function directly you are writing the string which is enclosed between triple double quotes and this, since these triple quotes so we are using for the purpose of a multi line comment only so you use three or four or five lines of comment how, how many more lines of comment or comment line you want to write you can write here okay so here uh, whenever we write the program to understand uh, for what purpose we are writing this program usually we have a habit to write a comment at the beginning of the program only right so similarly here also one comment line for example i have written here I am studying in the fifth semester, full point. And in next line, one more string or one more sentence I have written. This is a practice Python program written by me. Okay. So these three lines uh, I want to make as a comment lines. So this should be uh, a begin, begin the, uh, this should begin with the triple double quotes and it should end with the triple quotes. Okay. And your actual program starts from here. What is this? This is a definition of a function spam. And inside this spam, there is only one executable statement is there, that is a print function. But before this one comment line, once again, two lines comment line we have written here, that is also comment line. Intentionally, I have made it as a bold letter so that I have highlighted it so that you can understand it as a comment line. So this is a multi-line command to explain what the program or what the function spam does. Okay. So here, this string is beginning with the triple double quotes and it is ending with the triple double quotes again what it indicates it indicates it is a command line okay so this program is only two lines of program what is that line definition statement and print function only these two lines are there and but here two comment lines are included in this program and that is comment line also it is not a simple and a single line comment line it is a multi-line comment line okay so then uh, one more topic that is indexing and slicing the strings so already we have seen this indexing and slicing in a list list topic right so here also we are going to apply these indexing operation and slicing operation on strings so it means that when we uh, treat these strings as lists then uh, we can use these indexes and slices of these strings no problem because so here when we treat this string hello world Okay, which is enclosed in, enclosed in a single quote. This is a string. So if we treat this string as a list, if we treat this list, uh, if we treat this string as a list, and uh, each and every character in this string uh, is an item. Okay, item means what? This is a, a value in a list. 
that is nothing but item of a list now we are treating this string as a list you know so each and every character of this string will be treated as a item of that string or item of that list with its corresponding or respective index so for example this hello world string is indexed like this the index 0 1 2 3 4 5 up to 11 okay so each and every character is stored in these indexes the space whatever we have used in the index 5 and the exclamation sign whatever we have used in the index 11 are also included in this character count it means that we should not ignore this space character and we should not ignore this exclamatory sign character okay so here hello world is a 12 line characters totally how many characters are there 12 are there and uh, since that uh, index is starting with 0 last index is 11 okay so h is in the index 0 and exclamatory sign is in the index 11 i now uh, try some uh, uh, instructions in your interactive shell let us see uh, spam is equal to hello world okay what we are doing here we are doing we are storing a string value hello world in a variable spam and since we are treating this string as a uh, uh, list so let us see how we can uh, use this uh, indexing operation here see spam of zero what it means spam of zero the expected output is obviously h okay so here h is enclosed in a single code then uh, spam of 4, spam of 4 means what? Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It is a small letter O. Then uh, spam of minus 1, it is exclamation sign, right? So spam of uh, 0 to 5, so this is nothing but a slicing. This is the first three instruction what I told, these are indexing and this is negative indexing and this one is slicing. I think already you remember uh, you have uh, executed these all things in uh, uh, list topic right so 0 to 5 when we use this slicing we should not include this fifth index okay so we should stop the indexing in only fourth index only it means that 0 1 2 3 4 so first five characters will be displayed here that is a hello so then the next next uh, uh, slicing instruction is a spam of uh, colon 5 it means that from beginning to 5 0 1 2 3 4 okay and 5 we should not include we should not include so what will be displayed here once again it will be displayed as a hello so and the next is a spam 6 to uh, nothing that is null so what it means uh, 6 6 to end it means that 6 to end so last character is exclamatory sign so it will display w o r l d exclamatory sign yes this is the output right so now uh, we will see <coughs> uh, some uh, uh, this one uh, we can uh, specify this uh, index no so to get uh, the particular character uh, in the string right so if we specify the range uh, from one index to another then that uh, index is included and that ending index will not be included because uh, this is the nature of a slicing okay so this is about indexing operation and this is about a uh, slicing operation okay so now <coughs> so we can uh, do this slicing and slicing means just now i told you slicing means from uh, begin one uh, starting point to one end point if i want to fetch the part of that string okay if i want to get that part of that string so that is nothing but a slicing so range we have to mention in this slicing right so this is slicing what it is doing that slicing a string it means that we are applying this slicing operation on a string so this is slicing operation is not going to modify or change our original string it means that it is going to give us or it is going to return us on the new string not the original it is not changing or modify our original string it is giving us it is giving us one new string it is giving us new string and that new string we can save it or we can store it uh, in one more variable okay so here 
uh, first we will store one uh, uh, original string in one variable that is variable one or first variable right so from that first variable whatever the string is there from that string if we do slicing that slicing will be a new string okay and that new string can be stored in a separate variable okay how it is uh, we will see see spam is equal to hello world fizz is one variable to which we are uh, applying we are assigning one value that is a spam of 0 to 5 that is nothing but a slicing right so 0 to 5 means what 5 we should not include uh, up to 4 only we should include so 0 1 2 3 4 it means that the spam of 0 to 5 will be h e l l o so that h e l l o will be stored in a new variable that is fizz it means that this spam of 0 to 5 is not modifying this hello world which is stored in this spam it is giving one new string and now we are storing or saving that new string in one more separate variable so if we want to store it in our old variable only then we should write it as a spam equal to spam of 0 to 5 but we don't want to change the value which is stored in the spam so because of that only we have taken one more new variable that is fizz here okay now what is the value of fizz if you want to check you just type that variable and press enter button obviously it will be hello then <coughs> here what we are the, what we have done now slicing and storing that result resulting substring that is hello in another variable that is a fizz right so we can by doing like this uh, whenever we want the original string whenever we want that substring both of them we can use whenever we want in our uh, program in future okay so instead of that one we can change the value which is stored in uh, this uh, first variable that is a spam also so if we want to uh, do that one then we have to assign the substring to once again that uh, old variable spam it means that we can write that uh, instruction like this spam equal to spam of 0 to 5 like this we can write it okay so next topic is once again in and not in operators so where we are applying this one already we have applied this with the list now the same operations we are applying on strings okay so very very interesting and easy topic that is just we have to search whether a character is present in our uh, string or not if it is present there then uh, in operator uh, will return either true or false and similarly not in operator also give us one boolean values like the true or false so let us see some examples here hello in hello world it means hello string is present in the string hello world or not in operator is here right so then this in operator gives us a boolean value true now because this hello string is present in this string okay so expected output is true so next hello in hello so of course hello in is present in this string hello so once again the result is true so next instruction is hello in hello world so it is going to give us the uh, result as a false because here h is capital here h is capital okay but here e l l o these all are capital but here they are small letter so this all uppercase letter hello is not present in this hello world string so this will be obviously giving us the value false okay so then the space <coughs> that is blank or empty space or blank space in a spam so of course here before this yes i think uh, there is one space is there uh, let us see if the space is present there then it uh, gives us a true value otherwise it gives us a false value okay uh, it is giving us a true value because here one space is here right so because of this space it is giving us one boolean uh, value that is true so then the cats not in cats and dogs so it means that we have to search this uh, string cats in this uh, second string cats and dogs of course it is present there so it is giving us uh, it, it should give us a true but it is not in operator what is that not in operator it means that cats is not in cats and dogs no it is present there so it is giving us a false as a output i hope you are understanding now right 
So these all expression test. Uh, it means we can use this for case sensitive uh, comparison. Okay. So uh, next topic. Useful string methods. Okay. So uh, in the previous topic, how you studied list methods. So similarly, here we are going to use some string methods. Nothing to worry. Very very interesting. Okay. Very very interesting topics. So these methods, as its name itself, they are telling you know, upper, lower, is upper, is lower. So these are the four main and most commonly used string methods. So as its name itself is upper, what it is doing? So it can just convert the string, the input string, whatever you do, that is an input string. So it convert it into all the characters into uppercase. That's all. Similarly, lower is there. lower is also whatever the characters you give in uppercase letter, those characters will be converted to lower lower case. Similarly, next one more third method is is super okay uh, sorry is upper is upper as its name itself is 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 it means that question mark so since question mark gives us uh, values always uh, boolean values like yes or no or true or false this is is upper and uh, is lower are going to give us either true or false values okay so is upper is going to give us whether uh, the up, the characters in a particular uh, string all are uppercase. If all are uppercase, then only it will give us a true value. If any one character is a lowercase there, then it gives us a false value. Okay. Similarly, in a string, if all characters are lowercase, then is lower gives us a true value. And if all uh, characters are uppercase, uh, then or any one character is uppercase, then is lower gives us a false value. So let us see these uh, uh, all things here. Uh, but these methods are applying to only these alphabets. Okay. So the remaining non letters or non alphabets values will be same in our string. For example, let us see here. Spam equal to hello world. Okay. Spam equal to spam dot upper. How to use this method? Just observe here. First we should write the variable name. And then we should write a method name spam dot upper. So in between this variable name and method name, we should use period operator, period operator or dot operator. Okay. Spam is equal to spam dot upper. It, what it means? It means that the resultant string, which is returned from upper method, will be once again storing or saving in the same variable that is spam. Okay. So here. So because of that only we are going to uh, assign once again the resultant string to the old variable that is spam spam equal to spam dot upper so what it means here hello world is there no so only one letter is a capital here that is h the remaining characters also will be converted into upper case letter so with the help of this method so once executing this uh, spam dot upper method so that uh, uh, that the resultant string will be stored in a spam okay after converting converting to uppercase letters and that the spam value will be checked like this or tested like this hello world okay so then the spam equal to spam dot lower already now spam value is uppercase that is hello world now we are applying the lower method to this one and all characters will be converted to lowercase letters like this hello world Okay, so here what we are doing and these function, these methods, these methods are not doing any change to our string. So these are returning one new string and that new string we are storing in once again in our old variable. So if you want to store it in a new variable, you can take a new variable like a fifth or something else and you can store it in a new variable also, no problem. Okay, so now. <coughs> Here, uh, for example, uh, if uh, one variable is uh, x, okay, so x value is a 10, just imagine x value is a 10. So after that, x plus 3, x plus 3 means what? 10 plus 3. 
So that is nothing but 13. That 13 will be only in RHS side of our assignment uh, statement. 13 will be RHS side of our assignment statement. But if we want to store it in that 13 value in the new variable, we can assign it to new variable, no problem. But if you want to store it in once again in old variable, then how we can write it? We can write it like this x equal to x plus 3. x equal to x plus 3. So here what what we want to understand is just here uh, spam equal to spam dot upper just we have used right so here upper method is giving us one new string okay and that new string is once again is storing in the old variable spam itself okay so here this uh, spam variable uh, spam value earlier whatever it was there that value is changed or modified now okay so here uh, one uh, uh, just a small uh, program we write here uh, suppose uh, there is a conversation between uh, two friends okay so one friend will ask to the second friend how are you today if that second friend says that great okay so then that great maybe he might be typed it in uh, small letters or uppercase letters or a mix of both uppercase and lowercase letters also so whatever the message he wanted to tell to the friend one so he will tell it in both uppercase and so in lowercase and so or else we can tell it in both the mixture of both uppercase and um, um, uppercase and lowercase so just we wanted to get a message from that uh, friend two okay so that how we can do this one we just see here we can use these upper and lower methods so when these upper and lower methods are very very helpful for us so these two methods are very very powerful for comparison purpose comparison of two strings what type of strings case insensitive comparison case insensitive it means that it doesn't matter for these two functions or methods whether you are typing the string in the lower case or upper case or mixture of both upper case and lower case so here for example, this is small letter GREAT great is not equal to GREAT. But for these upper and lower methods, both of these two are equal. Okay. So how we can uh, do this one? Just to see one example here. Just know what I told is uh, the conversation between two friends. First friend will ask you, how are you? Okay. Then second friend will give some input from the keyboard and that is a string. And one more variable we are using here to store that uh, how he is feeling. It means the input of that friend to in the feeling variable. Okay. So if that feeling dot lower, it means that we are applying that lower method on this feeling variable. So first we should write that variable feeling and we should use a dot operator. Then we write the method name that is lower. If feeling dot lower is equal to great, that is a small letter. Okay then that i feel great too and who is telling this one if that friend two is entered a small letter gre team that is great then the first friend will reply as a i feel great too okay so if this condition is false then we will execute the else part if this condition is false means what it means that that first uh, second person that second friend is not typing great word he is typing some other word okay so then now it means that he, he may be not feeling well or something else then this first friend will reply as a i hope the rest of your day is a good okay so here what we have to understand is so here instead of this small letter g r e a t if suppose that friend two enters the input in the form of all characters as capital letters or else the string with the uh, mixture of both uppercase and the lower case like this okay but still this great will be equal to this filling dot lower okay so because of that only if this is a uh, small letter and if this condition is true then uh, that first person says that i feel great too okay so if it is not true then this first person says that i hope the rest of your day is a good day so here we will see the output here see how are you okay first person is asking 
second person entered it as a g r e as upper case and a t in a lower case so ultimately this lower method does not make a difference between lower case great upper case great and mixture of both upper case and lower case great so ultimately it takes this capital g r e a t as a small letter g r e a t only so then the first person replies as a i feel great too okay so i think you understood the difference between <coughs> upper and lower methods okay so what is the main uh, uh, power or importance of these upper and lower methods so they they do uh, case insensitive comparison okay case insensitive comparison so similarly next uh, as i just uh, told you these uh, upper and lower methods are just uh, converting the lower to upper and upper to lower and they are returning us once again the string okay so here uh, next two methods are there that is is upper is lower so since these are boolean methods so these are going to give us the result in the form of true or false so what they are doing just already i told you if all characters in the string are upper case then the is upper method returns us returns us the value true otherwise it returns us false so is lower returns us true only when all the characters are lower case if any one character is upper case then it returns us as a false just see here examples when you will understand spam equal to hello world spam dot is lower what it means it means that is lower method is checking this string hello world and uh, whether all characters are lower case or not so of course not because here h is a capital because of that only it will be used as false as a output okay so one more example spam dot is upper spam dot is upper so all letters are not upper case here only h is upper so because of this once again it gives us the output as a false okay so here hello <coughs> so instead of writing the directly name of a variable you can observe here directly string we have written here just to feel the difference between the first two three uh, instructions with these uh, fourth instruction in first three instruction we have written the directly variable name but here we are writing directly the string name itself that is string value which is enclosed in a single quote h e l l o dot is upper of course all characters are upper here so it will return true then uh, a b c 1 2 3 4 5 is lower so a b c okay are lower 1 2 3 4 5 are non letters so whatever the characters are there they are lower letter so it will gives us the output as obviously as true so here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 dot is lower there is no any alphabet here so it will give us as a false okay then one more that is 1 2 3 4 5 dot is upper once again there is no any characters or alphabets here so it will give us false so here uh, this is the main uh, use of upper lower is upper uh, is lower and since this upper and lower methods are called as string methods because we are applying them on strings right so we can call them as string method similarly two other string methods are there that is is upper and is lower so now i am talking about once again that the first two string methods that is upper and lower so what type of uh, result or uh, uh, what type of value these methods have returned to us they have returned to us once again some strings only right so upper is returning a string which is converted uh, to all the characters as upper case and the lower is also returning on a string which is containing all the characters as lower case characters right so these strings <coughs> once again on these return the strings return the strings once again we can apply these string methods okay so here let us see how it is <coughs> see hello dot upper it means what we are just applying upper method to this string hello okay so what happens what is the expected output so all characters will be all characters will be uh, converted to upper case so h e l l o will be upper case then the second instruction is hello dot upper 
it means uh, all characters are converted to capital then immediately on that string once again a lower method is applied here it means that all characters will be converted to lower case here that is not the LL one similarly one more method one more instruction hello upper it means uh, capital H E L L O then dot lower it means small letter H E L L O then dot upper it means that once again that is capital H E L L O okay so then hello dot lower it means H E L L O all are small letters even hello dot lower all letters are lower case after lower case here one boolean function is the that method boolean string method is, that is, is lower so these all characters are converted to lower letters then all characters are lower or not yes it is yes so it is giving us true okay so these all are about string methods so apart from these four string methods upper lower is upper is lower there are another four additional string methods are there those string methods are called as easy x so just previously you have seen two easy x functions easy x functions means in the place of x uh, we can write upper or lower it means that is upper is lower so in addition to these is upper is lower methods there are another four additional string methods are there so those are is alpha is alpha numeric is a decimal is a space is a title there are some five strings string methods are there and particularly which string methods is x string methods try to remember these seven is x string methods so first one was is lower is upper already you have studied now so then just a brief idea i i would like to give about these very interesting uh, string methods is alpha what it does it gives us the output as a true if all characters are only alphabets in that string okay so then it gives us a true otherwise it gives us false so if in a string uh, there are both combination of alphabets as well as numbers in a string then again it gives us is alpha num gives us a true otherwise it gives us a false so then uh, if in a string all characters are decimal numbers only it means a numerics only integers only so then it gives us a true otherwise it gives us a false if in a string only space is there it means it is a blank string or empty string so which contains spaces or it may be containing tabs or it may be containing some new lines okay so if it contains only those type of spaces then it gives us a true otherwise it gives us false so next last method is is a title so this is title is very interesting so it check it uh, will check whether in our string the first letter or first character of each and every word is capital or not okay so usually in our textbook we get such type of headings right so first character will be capital first character of every word will be capital if it is true then it gives us a true if it is not then it gives us false so just to see how it is so hello dot is alpha so of course all characters in this hello string is uh, are uh, alphabets so it gives us a true the second instruction is hello one two three is alpha so here uh, the, this session will end in five minutes so after uh, this one you just uh, rejoin so one more uh, topic is there i will complete it then we will end up the class today okay See, this uh, hello one two three dot is alpha what it means so here this is a combination of both alphabets and the numbers so is alpha so is alpha method is giving us false then the next instruction is hello one two three is alpha numeric of course it is a combination of both alphabets and numeric so it is giving us true so next instruction is hello dot is alpha numeric so here only alphabets are there numbers are not there so it is giving us false so next is one two three is decimal of course all three characters of this string are decimal numbers only so it gives us a true so then the space is there space is space method will give us 
true and uh, this instruction is uh, somewhat interesting you can see here this is a title case this is just one string it is okay this is just a string uh, you can write any string in this place which is inside these single quotes and uh, is title method what it does it just check whether the first character of these all word, words are capital or not if it is true it gives us true otherwise it gives us false so of course here all first characters of all words are capital letters so it is giving us true so then the next uh, string is this is a title case one two three is title okay so of course here all words are beginning with the capital letters so it is once again giving us true and it is just ignoring the decimal values then uh, this is a title case okay so is title will give definitely false value here because title word is containing the first character as a lower case e okay so it gives us false so here one more last example that is this is not a title case this is not a title case so here all words are beginning with capital character so it is giving us true sorry uh, what is that this is not a title case uh, sorry uh, actually this should be uh, true here by mistake i have written here false actually it is true only because this is not a title case all first uh, characters of these all strings uh, all words are capital only so here this uh, uh, result will be true here uh, so by mistake i have given it as a false here uh, make a correction if you are writing in your class notes okay so then here one small program is there uh, to validate our input user input so what user can give input here the user is asked to enter his age and he is also asked to enter his password of course age will be always in the form of uh, integers okay and here uh, we give some validation conditions that that person should enter the age in the form of a decimal or integers only he cannot enter the age in the form of a string okay similarly he should enter the password in both the mixture of alphabets and uh, numbers that is alpha numerics so apart from these two he cannot use any special characters or something these are the, just some conditions what we are putting in our uh, validation right so here one simple program is there that program is uh, uh, named it as a validate input.py just uh, save it as this uh, file name or any other file name in your laptop when you practice okay and here two while loops we are using the first while loop is also infinite loop the second while loop is also infinite loop the first while loop is for validating age the second while loop is for validating password okay so in this uh, first while loop what we are doing here we are printing one statement enter your age so obviously user will enter the age from the keyboard and it will be in the form of a string because input method is receiving or input function is receiving that input okay and whatever the string he has entered even though he has entered it in the form of integers it will be received as a string only that value will be stored in the variable age okay so if that age dot is decimal if that string contains decimal numbers only then the condition is true then the break will be executed it means that 